So guys, this is a video of my latest grow light that I've built. I've modeled this off of my aquaponics grow light. Uh, it's about 52 inches tall and 51 inches wide to fit under uh, the basement under my front steps. Um, this is going to give lights to my fruit trees since it's getting too cold out for my lemon tree and my orange tree to be sitting out in the backyard. Um, we've got spots here for 16 light bulbs and I'm planning on putting in uh, 16 CFL 100 watt equivalents uh, light bulbs. They actually draw 23 watts and I can remove you know as many light bulbs as I need if I don't need it as bright. Um, it's going to factor out to be about 400 watts, um, a bit less than that. And uh, you know it's about 16 inches wide. Uh, I've built the frame out of just basic wood that I had lying around. I had to buy a few pieces of wood and then I've wired in. These are uh, lamp holders from Home Depot, a couple bucks. Um, this is somewhere how I, like I said, how I did to my aquaponics light. Um, I've just wired these in on top. Um, and uh, I'll be closing these up for safety reasons, but I just drilled through. Uh, mounted them in with uh, some screws and that is about it. Um, hopefully I'll be able to store some stuff here on top and hopefully it'll give significant um, light to my lemon trees, the lemon tree and orange tree as they just started to bloom um, here in the last couple weeks and maybe we'll get some fruit off of them. I've got the final grow light all wrapped up um, and my lemon and orange tree placed under there with all the lights on. I want to point out that I painted the under part of this light here white to help reflect uh, some of the light, uh, which should be pretty good. I probably should put some sort of enclosure that helps reflect the light more, but I'm gonna leave it at this for now. Um, and I elevated the orange tree up on a tote just to get it closer to the light so it didn't start getting spindly trying to reach up for the lights. I'll just have to keep an eye on that. Um, I just used some standard wire from Home Depot to wire that in and in the inside I stripped it out and just used the white and black wires to jump across. Um, I'll give the caveat that I'm not an electrician so follow any of my instructions at your own risk um, but this is how I've done things in the past. Um, the actual light bulbs I'm using are these Philips uh, daylight light bulbs. Here's the packaging um, but I've been using these because the uh, light appearance on it is 6500K, which is, uh, from my research, good for growth. And, um, you know, each light bulb is giving out 1600 lumens. So with 16 of those, we're getting lots of light, um, which shouldn't really adjust or uh, affect my electricity bill too bad. Um, we're there, as I mentioned before, it's using 23 watts. Um, but we're all buttoned up on top um, to keep the electrical components out of uh, away from access and um, everything's on I just need to get it hooked up to a timer um, so that it'll run for uh, you know uh, 14 to 16 hours a day depending on how well they're responding to this but I think this is going to be a lot better it's been cloudy outside for like two weeks and especially the lemon tree is already looking a little a little worn out and I think I think from being inside it's drying out a little too much so I need to be watering it some but we've got we've got some flowers on it and there's a flower back there on the orange tree uh, I probably should rotate it around so I can keep an eye on that flower better but hopefully the orange tree will start getting some more flowers uh, that's it